my my life desire was always to hear the voice of God. So, hearing the voice of God. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and he said to them, "Receive the Holy Spirit." How did God speak to me? Listen. Okay, guys, let's do this. Guys, let's talk about uh, hearing the voice of God. I've been all my my life desire was always to hear the voice of God. Well, was always to hear the voice of God and to hear God speak. You know, when you go to church, they tell you that God is real. God speaks. I wanted to hear that for myself, and I know it's real. God. It takes works. It takes cultivation. You cultivate physically and spiritually by reading the Word of God, praying every day, and aligning yourself with men and women of God. And yes, it's possible, guys. So today, hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to talk to you about hearing the voice of God and how I heard the voice of God talk to, talking to me, guys. So I want to share my real life experience with you guys. And I hope you enjoy this video, guys. And if you're here, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel as we talk about this together, guys. So hearing the voice of God, you have other eyes. And but for us uh, physically it's like if you wipe them off like people cannot see the glasses but you have them inside you like you have the spiritual eyes that are working so that's what we are talking about how i realized i have that gift in me guys so uh, to start the story when i was young when I was growing up, I was so invested in reading the word of God. I was so invested in prayers. I was so invested in fasting and I was so invested in Bible study. That, But that alone was not enough for me. I always wanted and always desired to hear the voice of God, like hearing the God speaking to me. It's not like going to prophets and the prophets are telling you that this is what the Lord is saying. No, I wanted God to speak to me personally. That was my heart desire growing up. And Guys, even the Bible says, seek and you shall find, knock and the door shall be opened unto you. I seek for a very long time and that door opened for me, guys. So I didn't need to go to anyone and ask them, what does the Lord say this to me? What does the Lord say about me in this and this situation, guys? So uh, my story is very funny, guys. So when I was young, I, I invested myself so much in Bible study. I loved everything to do with church. I still do up to now. But I loved everything to do with God, to do with church. And actually... For me, I loved the Old Testament growing up. Why? Because I saw the way God was talking to Moses, the way God was talking to David, the way God was talking to his servants. And I desired that in me. I really desired that. And I was telling God, God, I wish one day you can talk to me. So one day when I was in primary school, so one day when I was sleeping, I heard someone call my voice. You know, I heard someone call my voice, but I... I what do I say it? I was surprised and I woke up in my sleep and I was saying, no, I heard it was real. It was not like a dream. So someone called my voice. And the following day, I went to this lady. She was, uh, she was, she was, I don't know how to call her in church. So I went to this lady and I explained and this lady told me, next time you hear the voice, uh, uh, tell God to speak to you, like speak like another human being. So I remember I went back and I did not hear that voice for a very, very long time. And I was praying, I was telling God, God, if it is you, please talk to me again. I want to hear your voice again. So uh, one time I heard the voice again. And I, uh, when I woke up that time, I told God, God, if it's you, I want you to speak to me. And it started like that, like a joke. So I would hear... Uh, when I wanted for something for me, I'm used to this. Even when I'm walking and uh, uh, and I'm discerning something, I thank God for the discerning spirit. It's a gift too. If I discern something, I start to pray. I always hear like a voice. So it started small. Like I would see, hear God telling me, do this, don't do this. Just a small voice. You know that small voice. And for me, I, I was cultivating that in the spirit. So when it started coming, I knew it was God's voice for me. So I, I started being king, 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 king spiritually. <laughs> I started being king spiritually and listening to God. So it started. Uh, so and one thing I appreciate about God, if God was telling me something, he had to confirm it through someone, like someone had to tell, come and tell me the same thing. And I said, this is God confirming this message. Or I, I, he had to give me the Bible verse or a word. So he had he was confirming it through the Bible verse. Or he, he, my, things just happened so funny for me. But I started being keen spiritually and listening to that voice. Guys, if I tell you how long I've cultivated that, and I tell you. So nowadays, it has reached a point. I know when something bothers me, I just take it to the Lord in prayer. And I just wait for the Lord to talk to me. And it happens, guys. The Lord just talks to me. If I'll not hear a voice, he'll talk to me through a dream. If I'll not hear a dream, he'll talk to me. 
he'll talk to me through someone or something will just happen and i know this is the way the lord is answering me guys and the lord has to confirm that through his word always for me for me it's always like that he has to confirm that through his word and i know it's god saying and guys there's something you know there's so many gifts in the bible and the most appreciated gift that i've appreciated god giving me is the discerning spirit discerning what is good and discerning what is not good guys that's a very important spirit because the world right now is full of evil, the light or the world right now is full of people you cannot understand them. And if God can give you that gift just to discern what is right and what is not right, to discern what is evil and what is good, that's a very good gift, guys. And I'll I'll, I'll pray that the Lord will bless you with that, guys. So cultivating, so cultivating that in the word of God and prayer every day and having faith, you know, that connection, that's why I always talk about the connection. If you have that the right connection with God, like not just going to church, not bring preached art, like you have that right connection with God. You're always talking to God through prayers, reading the word of God like that the lord will cultivate something in you and that's what i always and that's why i always emphasize on building the right relationship with god guys i would like to hear about you too does the lord talk to you or how does it happen if you've listened to this and you have one or two points you'd like to add or ask something guys comment down below and if you're new here kindly subscribe to my youtube channel it will mean so much to me guys uh, i love you so 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 much for watching my videos and um, thank you for subscribing until next time stay blessed guys and i want to hear from you guys let me know in the comment section what do you think about god talking to us guys and if you're near kindly subscribe to my youtube channel see you next time okay.